Hey everybody, today we're starting a new series, just like you saw in the intro. We're starting Final Fantasy 3. Um, you guys know in the past I've played a lot of JRPGs, and I've never really done a Final Fantasy, and my two favorites are 10 and 3. And I'm probably going to do 10, but I thought, hey, maybe we should just start with 3. So that's where we're at. We're going to play the entire game. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and uh, let's start. Let's see where we should wait here. Ow. I didn't see that hole there. What have I gotten myself into now? And we are going to keep all the names the same just to make it easy. So, an orphan raised by Nina, an elder Topapa in the village of Ur. Adventurous by nature, his curiosity gets the better of him as he tumbles into a hole created by the Great Earthquake. So, we got our first battle here. Um, yeah, we don't have any magic, so for right now, we'll just have to settle with some normal attacks here. And I probably, I changed a couple of keybinds. I'll probably have to fix them, because my auto battle's on left at the moment, which it probably shouldn't be. Alright, that was our first battle. Gained 30 gil. Those were monsters? Why do I get the feeling this is not the safest place to be? Okay. So, now we're kind of free to walk. Okay, let me quickly fix my controls. Okay, everybody, I fixed my controls. Let's just go ahead and get started right away. Can we not go that way? Okay. And, um, ooh, so, random encounters. Love it. Love these old types of games. Um, just a quick couple things. I haven't played this game in many, many years. I have played it before, but not in a long enough time where I don't remember much. Um, you know, I don't memorize these maps. Ooh, a back attack. Oh, 20 more gil. My job level increased. Okay. Let's keep moving forward. And there's a lot of auto battles. Job level increased again. Let me quickly check my config. Let's keep moving on. Chest. And another battle. More goblins. I really want to outspeed these goblins, but it seems like they've got... Ooh. I missed, so I outsped them, but I missed. Yeah, let's go ahead and, uh... Okay. And I know seven. Seven will kill them. These are pretty weak. Let's go see what this chest has in store for us. Contains a leather shield, and... Another auto battle before I can get to that chest. Okay. Potion. Okay, I might actually need to use that. So let's go ahead and go to... Equipment. Um, can I put leather shield? Yes, let's put a leather shield there. Um, don't got anything there. Okay, items. Potion. Okay. And excuse me while I'm still trying to get used to the controls. I might click pause a lot on accident. Huh, there's something strange about that rock. Press Z to study the screen carefully. Shiny. Oh, so it was a switch. Can't do anything else with it right now. Let's keep moving on. Some more auto battles. Job level increased again. Okay. Let's keep moving. Long sword. Okay, is that already an improvement? Long sword. There we go. Keep moving on. Okay, let's see. Let's check to the left first. Arctic wind. Is that, um, I'm guessing a magic item? Usually they're named like that. Could probably. Ooh. Okay. I don't have any magic, as you can see, so no magic just yet. Item, Arctic Wind, deals ice damage. Okay, I'm going to save that for later, so for now, let's do the Eye Fang first. Seems more threatening, because it has teeth. 
13? Okay, so it... Not too much. Too much health. Not much bigger than the goblins. And it helps that I just got that longsword, too. That longsword helps. Okay, got another potion. We're pretty good on life right now, so we're good. Let's keep moving on here. And, um, oh, probably another thing I should have mentioned. I am playing... Ooh, preemptive strike. Okay, so I can strike first. You know, let's go ahead and just click one, and I'll auto-battle. So I am playing the Steam version of the game, so it's... I didn't really look much into this, like I did my Chrono Trigger, but... Um, so it is the Steam version. You can see the quality is pretty good compared to, you know... Um, I think it was on the DS or the 3DS first. One of the things in Chrono Cross that it's good, but it wasn't my favorite was the fact that you didn't actually have to grind. After each boss, they'd give you a certain amount of skill points to make sure you'll be good for the next, you know, dungeon. Um, a lot of these older games, um, I don't think, I don't know about Final Fantasy. I haven't played the game in a long time, but a lot of games don't do that and they expect you to grind. And I love those types of games. I'm pretty sure this is one of them. Probably should honestly check so I don't look stupid, but um, I'm missing anything here. A wellspring? What? Mystifying colors. Can I heal here? Okay, so I get to heal here. Okay, cool. Alright, let's head back the other way where we're supposed to go. Let's continue. Try to, or before I was taking like four. It's gonna help sustainability throughout these encounters here. You often run out of potions and stuff right in the beginning because you're so weak, so it's nice getting a bit of money right now. I honestly don't mind it. What's that? An evil creature attacks Luna. Ooh. Giant bone turtle. Okay. I guess I can manually play this one because, again, I don't have much to do but just attack here, so. I'll just keep doing the attacking. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop auto battle now. I might have to use a potion here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and attack one more time, and then after this one I'm using a potion. Of course I miss. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, let's use a potion. I'm also, I'm tempted to use an Arctic Wind on him. I think that'll do a lot of damage. 50, okay, so it heals for 50. So I can get pretty low and use that and it'll still get me. Go ahead and use an Arctic Wind. I think this might be really strong. 55? He's dead. Easy. Cool. Okay. Leveled up again. I have been chosen. Who's that? Who's there? Warrior from the land of darkness. You have been chosen as the bringer of hope. Is this crystal talking to me? Darkness is threatening to engulf the world. When light is lost, the equilibrium will be no more. What are you talking about? There are others who share your destiny. You must seek them out. Once you find them, I will bestow upon you our last light, our last hope. Now, go. Whoa, wait, I don't understand. I really like these updated graphics, though. I think they look really nice. A 
I'm back on the surface. What was that? Light? Darkness? Our last hope? What was all that about? Okay. So I'm guessing this is our home village. Let's go ahead and head inside. Yep, it's that town of Ur. Luneth, the elders are looking for you. Now let's go ahead and talk to everyone. I heard that someone put a curse on the whole town of Kazus. I'm not going anywhere near that place. Elder Da, I can sense what has happened to you. You must now heed the words of Elder Topapa. That's cool to know. Oh, this is Elder's house, okay. Elder Topapa, you have come, Luneth. So it is you who has been chosen. You must understand that, that your meeting with the crystal was, was not happenstance. It was the crystal's will. You have been chosen. Chosen? For what? I don't understand. A long time ago, a traveler came to me carrying a newborn child. His face was covered in soot and his clothes were burnt to tatters. The child he carried in his arms was you. To think, even as a newborn, you were already destined to be chosen by the crystal. You must now set forth on your journey, take your power, the light you hold in your heart, and use it well. Okay, so I have to go to the cursed town of Kazas. So this, I'm going to worry about you, so promise me you'll be careful. If you run into trouble, try looking at the control hints. You can find it, okay. Okay, uh, all right. One thing I sh should also fix in my config is the fast, there we go. All right, let's see, can you give me anything? You must treat Nina, your mother, the very best you can. You must know by now she is not your birth mother, but she has taken care of you as if she really were. Okay, and I, so I guess I said it earlier, but as a character, I am an orphan. The others went over to the corner of town. Wonder what all the hubbub was about. Free to stay here anytime. How's my health doing? Okay, so I'm good. I don't need. So I'm guessing this is the end. Hey, would you play me a song on the piano? Stupid earthquake, I can't get back to the Canaan. To Canaan because of a huge stupid rock is now blocking the entrance to the new valley. Can I buy anything from you? No? Why, hello there, Luna. Watch me dance. It's a bop. You're going on a journey, you have to take some antidotes and eye drops. How was that? Oh, apparently we're not good at the piano. Okay, noted. We suck. Okay, let's see what we got upstairs. Any chests we can pilfer? Let me tell you about your current job. Freelancers can use low-level magic, but their base attributes are low. Yeah, so our job at the moment... Um, I'm sure most of you have probably played this game if you're watching this, but... Yeah, you can have different jobs, kind of like roles, and... You know, they all specialize in something. King Sassoon's castle is to the west of here. He's the lord of... All the lands surrounded by the are many mountains, including this village. Making a ruckus near the farm to town. Make them stop already. Okay, so we can stop in these places to buy things. Um, let's buy one. Let's go ahead and visit each shop and we could probably I probably shouldn't buy too much stuff until we get the other characters but um I don't think we have anything for our hand I'm gonna just buy one of those 
like I said, probably in the next town already we're gonna have a lot better stuff, so there's no reason to buy too many crazy things. Dagger. Yeah. Yeah, so we're not gonna buy anything just now. We'll hold off, because even the characters we get will probably already have stuff that's even better than Lunets at the moment. What's up here? Oh yeah? Ghosts don't exist. Then go there yourself and prove it. Huh, you don't have the guts. You're a coward. Another orphan raised by Topapa, and Luneth's best friend. Unlike Luneth, he prefers reading over gambling in the wild. His studies endow him with great knowledge that more than makes up for his shyness. Oh, uh... There we go. Just Ark. Hey, Ark, what's going on? It's Luneth. Let's get out of here. Hey, wait, Ark, you don't have to run away from me. I'm not a coward, but I know I have to be stronger. But I can't ask for Luna's help. I'll show them. Oh, I'm picking flowers. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm probably gonna have to go help him out. But let's see what's on the other ends of the town. this place increase and I got a high potion there are switches that open hidden passageways in towns and dungeons you'll have to look closely to find them take a look at that candle for example if you zoom in close enough see that shining spot those sparkles tell you there's something fishy there Keep an eye out for those. When I first played the game years and years ago, I didn't really touch on antidote. I didn't really another antidote. I didn't touch that type of stuff. I didn't wasn't looking out for it. So um, this playthrough, I'm obviously going to be a lot more careful. Nothing in that one. That's a shame. Chests. Cure. Eye drops, I'll need those for blindness, longsword, dagger, and a phoenix down. Okay, so when when we have our first death, we'll use that. Perfect. I'm glad I came up here because that's some... Is there anything in these boxes? I didn't check any of these boxes over here. Okay. We're probably good. I always try to, in these types of games, stay like a town ahead, usually. I know that's kind of hard to say because, you know, the equipment only comes after, but... Um, yeah, I always like to have enough money so when I hit the next town, I'm able to buy stuff right away. Stay ahead of the game a little bit. Okay, I gotta figure out where Ark went because I don't have any idea here. Yeah. I want to try to play this game how it's intended to be. With no guides. Another town. Oh. Kazux. Oh, that's where he went. Okay. Ah. Ark, it's me, Lunith. Don't be afraid. Why did you run off on your own? What are you trying to prove anyway? Let me go with you. I want to show everyone that I'm not a weakling. I did manage to come here all by myself. You'll take me with you, Lunath, won't you? Alright, that's what you want. 
Nice. All right, we got we got Ark to come with us. Let's go ahead and check what equipment he has. We can put another knife. Okay. So this place is, is it abandoned? Haunted. This one empty. Curse that gin. I can't do business when I'm a ghost. So they are actually ghosts then. The Dijin's curse turned me into a ghost. Am I going to die like this or am I already dead? Boom. Or doom. Despair. Oh my. Healed up. Perfect. I like when I can get healed up. Saves me some potions. Glitch. This is why. I... Oh wait, let me read that again. Only the power of Mithril can banish the Jin. This is why the Jin cursed this town. Once I found out, once I found out how the nearby mines were packed with that stuff. Howdy there, Sid's the name. I'm from Canaan, but I've been stuck here ever since Nell Valley got blocked by a giant rock. On top of that, I got a curse cast on me along with these other folk. Ain't that a trip and a half? Luna, we have to do something to help these people. Say, if I lent you my airship, do you lads think you can help me and these other saps? From what I hear, this curse can be dispelled through the power of a mithril ring. Unfortunately, we all seem to be out of mithril rings here. Even if we could get the mithril, Taka the smith has been turned into a ghost himself, and his daughter, the apprentice, has gone missing. Airship's hidden in the desert west of here. Use it to find a way to lift this curse. Okay, the same goes for all other vehicles too, you got that? Fair enough. If only we had the mithril ring, okay. Uh, and get a mithril ring for these guys. Is there anything up here? Can I get anything out of here? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Just decoration. Taka, what? How many times do I have to say it? No, I don't have any mithril rings. I want to get rid of this curse as much as you, but how am I supposed to temper mithril as a ghost? Even if I weren't cursed, it couldn't work unless I knew my daughter was safe. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have been so harsh in training her. Can I, like, steal a sword? On a potion. Now again, I'll have to keep out an eye for sparkly things. Is this a cave? Mithril mines. Run away, dude. No! Party's been defeated. <laughs> Bro, I didn't know, dude. You can't just. Dude, I have no save data, everybody. So I'm back <laughs> to where we started, and I am not gonna go inside that cave. I also turned running on. I didn't realize that I was walking the entire time. So, yes. Now we can go about like normal, and now I have to remember that this game isn't as easy as modern day games. So, I have to get back into the habit of actually saving. Continue on. So I'm guessing this is the big boulder he was talking about, that one guy was talking about. So, let's see. I'm not sh Ooh, a werewolf. I'm not sure exactly where to go, but... Hit me with a critical. Okay, I probably... I'm not gonna heal yet. I'll probably let him take, like, one more hit before I do anything about that. Let's see. There's water on this end. Alright, let's go inside the castle, I guess, right? Castle Sassoon. Terrible curse has befallen the people in Castle Sassoon while I was gone. Only the power of the Mithril Ring may save them, I am told. But Possess is suffering from the same. I must do something, but where will I find a Mithril Ring? Okay, can he not come with us? Okay, I guess we could do it on our own. Okay, so now I am in Sid's airship here. 
Hopefully there's not battles because I don't... Uh, Lunith is on 1 HP. But let's hope, right? Eek, who are you? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. This is the airship and he's letting us use it. Uh, yeah, let's stay with that name. I don't know how to pronounce it. Refia? And I'll... I'm Refia, and I'll have you know that my father and I forged the parts for the ship back in Kazus. So that means you're the blacksmith's daughter. You have to help us make a mithril ring. I guess that's the only way we'll be able to lift the curse on Kazus. I can't. I can't make mithril rings. I didn't study that far. I didn't want to. Swell. I don't think Sid's going to be particularly happy with that news. Wait, I know where we can find a ring. My father forged a mithril ring for King Sassoon a long time ago. He should still have it. Let me go with you. I can't make mithril rings, but I want to help my father and the people of Kazas. I think she should come with us, Luna. Me too. Slacking off saved her from the curse. So maybe that luck might rub off on us. Hey, that's not funny. Okay, so now we got her. It's good. All aboard. Okay, so now we can use this to travel around. That's cool. Let's go. Let's go back to town. I need to buy some potions. Alright, and I'm gonna do another quick save here. But guys, I think I'm gonna end off today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.